Hello and good morning, Gary Champions, Psychic Medium once again. I have a few things to talk about today. First thing is I've developed a couple of new rings. If you're not into rings, turn this part off. Uh, this is one that's called my new teardrop ring. And uh, that's a red Sedona stone. Only got one of them, but it's very kind of fiery looking. Anyway, and this one uh, I made yesterday, actually, this is a... Uh, um, I'm calling it a psychic ring. Never seen anything like it. And of course, I can change the stone. If you like any of these, you can tell me about you, you'd like to have this stone and that one. I, I can custom make one the right ring size. And, and some of these rings, uh, the shank is large. And, and I think they work better on these rings. They give you a little more stability when wearing it. These are heavy. These are not light rings. They're sand casts. They're, they're solid silver. Anyway... And also on my wife's new page, uh, Bunny Blog, is up on my website where she's put some something that I guess I said at some point sitting around the house. And she thought it was interesting, so she put it up there. You might read it, and um, there's a little link there. You can send her um, a response or comment, and uh, I'm sure she'll put that on there as well on the website. So... Um, Bunny blog, and her name isn't Bunny. Her name's something else, but it's kind of embarrassing. When we first met, I could not remember her name, and she would tell me, and I'd walk along. We'd go somewhere and do something. I said, "What is your name again?" I couldn't remember, so I just started calling her Bunny. B U N Y with one N. I just started calling her Bunny. It's sad, isn't it? But now the house is full of bunnies. They're everywhere. Um, what can I say? Today's video is about mutiny. Yeah, I did my commercial part. That's my commercial part. Uh, now we're to the real stuff. Uh, I got up this morning and was here at the desk. I haven't been here very long and someone said mutiny. And um, like as in Mutiny on the Bounty, where they took Captain Bly and put him in that little boat and said, see you later. That's going on at the highest level in our country right now. People are trying to isolate him from doing damage and themselves from losing their jobs. And it's a very complex, tight wire little act there going on. If there's a mutiny going on. The university agree that something needs to be done. So in their efforts to mitigate damages, um, they anger this person and the response is not good, but people don't want those jobs anymore. You get, you get given a job with no experience and he's done this since the beginning. You have no experience. One day you're a sacker at the A&P. The next day you're in charge of some big thing at the governmental level, making a lot of money. Uh, why? Because he doesn't like experts. Experts contradict everything he says. So there's a big mutiny going on. Um, I believe you'll see a lot of defections. This is why people from the insider are, are saying things that he doesn't like. You know, I guess like this Fauci guy that's head of the medical thing. He just stops him from even talking anymore because he just didn't want to hear it. He wants what he thinks is right. Who knows where he got that? Why where he got that from? To be the dominant. Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> and um, sort of chaos r rules here. Hard to know what to listen to, being pulled three or four different directions. But I think mutiny is a good idea right now. I think um, there's many places where mutiny has worked and made things better. And, of course, didn't work too well for Fletcher Christian and their little mutiny because they ended up on um, an island. They sunk their boat out in the harbor because there is no harbor to get into the, the, the island they ended up on. And the ones that stayed on Fiji or wherever that island was, they all got hung. So it wasn't too good an idea for them. And I think that's what's happening here. People are mutinying and they're being hung. 
he doesn't seem to absolutely need anybody. And uh, all smart men, all smart men surround themselves with smarter men to reach in and say, you know, um, maybe we should do this. Man, that's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. But his advisors are, they're yes men. And he doesn't like to hear no. Like the governor of Michigan's, you know, we're not going to send her any, we're not going to send her any mask or anything because I don't like her. That's not presidential. That's third graders out here playing with a ball. Come on. Elevate, elevate things. Anyway, the mutiny going on. Um, soon we'll crown a new king. <sighs> and the beat goes on. How could you not be elected president and feel a little bit like a king? I mean, you're at the top of the pyramid, the most powerful person in the world. The problem is that you believe it. And it's you're just another guy, really. You're a little elevated from the normal people, but you're just another guy that's been put in charge of a lot of things. And if your advisors are smart ones, if you instead of these people you're hiring, they, they have a high school education or they're good at making donuts or something. Now they're running large corporations, but they say yes all the time. Yes, yes, let's do that. Yes. You're sinking your own ship, just like Captain Bly did. When you begin firing them left and right, there's there's no loyalty. So DC is the leakiest city in the, you think you can tell a secret in a boardroom and you swear by secrecy, they're not gonna go out and pick up the phone. Wait till you hear this. That's what's going on. Wife and I are happy, we're well, we're hanging out. Um, I mean, I hate to say that it's, uh, I mean, I could easily say it's horrible, but it, it's just not true. We're, we're having a, a pretty good time. Uh, we do a lot of talking. We do a lot of interesting things together. Uh, and she's doing the bunny blog, which I did not help her with. She wrote she wrote all that. Uh, she has thousands of those, she says. So if you write her something, she'll put it on there. She'll respond to it. And she has a special email. I think it's bunniesblog at gmail.com, but I'm not sure. It's on the website. It's on Bunny's blog page. She has her own page. She's invading. I'm being taken over. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.